We must capture the moments we are proud of. Hi, I'm Shaylin and welcome to another episode of You've Definitely Not Left Yourself Enough Time to Make This Project, Shaylin. We rallied together some friends and we were really excited to go to Comic-Con Africa. It's only the second time that it's been hosted in South Africa. Um, so yeah, I needed an outfit. Now I could have just gone as literally any one of the characters I actually have outfits for already. But I decided I wanted to make something and I had bought a bunch of these green things for the bedroom makeover I never posted. I didn't want to just donate them or throw them away. I wanted to try and make something else with them and get like two uses before I just up and left the country. If you don't know, we are moving to Ireland. There will be a video of that on our travel vlog. If you're interested, I will link our travel vlog down below. Which brings us to this idea. This is my like Ivy Queen princess thing. And I wanted her obviously to be kind of have a bunch of ivy growing, queen of the forest, very exciting. But I probably shouldn't have left it to two days before Comic Con. pieces. There are supposed to be 11 pattern pieces in here. Dar snucks me. There is nothing else in here except the instructions. So I took this dress that I had um, that fit me really well but I didn't actually like the look of and decided to cut that up and use that as a pattern. Okay so the pattern is cut. I'm going to make shift the skirt. I needed a lot of help from my gran who has about 10% sewing skills so you know level up but not together we only make up 11 out of 100 and that's like an abysmal fail <laughs> like you're redoing the grade I wanted the skirt to be longer and gathered and so when I laid out the skirts I made sure to leave extra room on the sides and a longer piece down the bottom so that it would be a full length skirt Battery's dying, but I'm just gonna do my best. Oh, I did sew it in. <laughs> I sewed in this thing because I didn't want to draw them. The love of my life is helping me because I can't stop shaking. So I'm kind of glad my camera died last night because. I was so frustrated, I nearly cried at one point. This is where we're at. I really should have started this dress long before I did, but I didn't. And so here we are. It is now the day before Comic-Con and I have about half an actual like base dress with no details. And at this point I'm wondering if I should just throw it in the trash. Sometimes one has to accept their defeat with humility and grace. Ugh. And so yeah, I, I gave up. I gave up. I went through all my thrift store to find anything that could be anything. So I have these pants. The pants were a little bit big, but I have some had some elastic so I could make them smaller. And they had these cool flaps on the side which I figured I could cut off and then turn into like a halter top, which I did. 
So now that we have pretty nice outfits, let's destroy it. And here's the thing about making things out of necessity is you kind of have to spark your imagination. This jumpsuit idea that I then had to rip up and destroy became this really exciting story in my head that has grown over time. You see, the thing is, I'd already made the crown. And so the story had to evolve to fit around this. Here's that story. So there is a girl who is on her way to vacation in a plane during a storm. The plane crashes. During her search through the forest, she's surrounded by ivy. Now the ivy have just lost their queen and they have chosen her to be their new queen. So they grab her and they drag her through the forest and they sit her on the throne, crown her. She does not want this role, has no idea what's going on, and yanks herself free. She starts running away. Which brings us to the point of this outfit. But the story continues. She then goes on a long journey, and after encountering all of these problems that she has to overcome, she realizes that it, it is her place and it is her role to be the queen of the forest and that she was meant to be here and so she accepts her role as queen, which brings us to the original outfit idea. <coughs> Storyteller mine went a bit crazy. I would love to make this into a full flesh story one day, maybe. So anyway, to rewind to this point, this is the outfit that we're creating. Okay, so a couple things. Obviously, I would have loved to make the dress and I have every intention of making something out of the kind of half-made dress that I already did. Um, I will, will post that on my Patreon. Yes, queens, I have launched my Patreon. I'm very excited. There is one tier on the Patreon and it is called the Cabbage Patch Fairy, which is named after Alice Guy Blaché's first film. She was the first ever female film director. I love her to pieces. I wrote my honors thesis on her. It is the cost of your life. I'm joking. It's the cost of one iced coffee um, in Ireland per month. It's like if you were to take me out and get to know a bit more about my videos or to see extra things. And the whole point of the Patreon why I wanted to create it is because I have some really, really cool making projects coming up. I wanted to be able to give you guys the templates and so you will get free templates, you'll get extra videos every month and you will get drawings. This week's gift for my Patreons is my digital download of my Ivy Queen. I'm very proud of her and she's available for download for any of my Patreons. So if you'd like to support me and my channel and all of those things coming up, then yes. Check out my Patreon, link down below. I think that's all, okay. the backpack. Nice. Okay, let's do it. Do, 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 do.